The agriculture industry has been hit hard as the pandemic disrupted the global supply chain. In Kittitas County, hay exporters are facing a declining demand for their products. When you travel north on I-90 from Ellensburg, you may have seen bales of hay sitting in storages such as these. Callaway Trading sends their hay to countries such as China, Japan, and South Korea, but the shortage of equipment and decreasing demand has been affecting business. For example, Japan, schools not in session, uh, restaurants aren't necessarily open, and so milk demand is, is down uh, in that country, both here in the United States and, and could possibly be the case in, in uh, the overseas market that we deal in, that dairies begin to reduce their headcount. Callaway says that the challenges overseas ripple back to the exporters as customers want to spend less on hay. Uh, we don't necessarily have it at the moment because we're waiting for our new crop harvest to begin here over the next month or two. And only then can we purchase the product at a price point that makes sense to sell in the current marketplace. Another local exporter, Stonewings 2, faces a similar situation. We'll begin here with alfalfa in another week or two. and. We're still not certain on if we can move the product and where it's going to go because the demand is uh, just uncertain at, at this time. Haberman says he anticipates that inventory carryover from 2019 will affect the pricing for new crops. As far as movement and uh, the transfer of goods between countries, I think it's going to take longer than what I had anticipated. As exporters continue to look for ways to transport, the hay will remain in their facilities. Callaway says when hay is stored away from sunlight and humidity, it can be stored for up to two years with limited degradation to quality. From Yakima, Mary Park, Central News Watch.